Welcome back boys and girls. As you can see, today is a very gloomy day in Virginia. So I decided to do something that would pick up my spirit, besides from reading my Bible. And that was to introduce you to my most handsome rifle, Browning BAR Short Track Chamber than 308. This rifle has exceeded all my expectations in a great deer hunting rifle. In fact, if I had to pick one rifle for the rest of my life to hunt white tails with, this will be it. At the range, this lightweight semi-automatic rifle can outshoot most of the bolt action rifle at 100 yards. And that's not exaggeration, it's the fact. First time that I fell in love with BAR was when I was in 7th grade. My dad had a uh, Browning BAR Safari chambered in 30 or 6 and I used to love to shoot that thing despite all the bruises that I got from shooting it. So about 15, 16 years back, when I decided to go back hunting again, my first choice of rifle that I bought was this Browning BAR, chambered in 308. First time I seen this rifle, it was love at first sight. I mean, this thing was lighter than my dad's rifle. It was balanced better, it looks better, and when I shouldered it, I was able to move without any restrictions. So obviously this was my choice. Now, the reason that I went with 308 was that number one was that it was less recoil than 30 or 6. It was less punishing to my shoulder. Number two was the cost of the ammunition. And you could also shoot cheaper military issue of 7.62. And number three was that I won't be shooting anything beyond 200 yards. And lastly, I won't be hunting that requires anything beyond 308. I was so happy with this rifle. I was hunting only with this rifle for the first three years. And then I started noticing some of the dents and scratches and some wear signs. So I started using other rifles. And also this stock was oil finished. And I was afraid it might get scratched. So I actually put a coating on it. And I put a five layers of coat. So it looks nice and shiny now. And now let's go on with the review. This rifle is recoil softening gas operated auto loader. Fit and finish in this rifle is nothing short of perfection. I mean, if you see it, everything is fitted perfectly with nothing looking awkward. And even those carving here and here, they are not just for good looks. If you hold it, you, you will realize really fast how much these carvings help you hold the forehand and also the a pistol grip. Overall length on this rifle is 41 inches and a half and it weighs 6 pounds and 10 ounces. This beautifully polished one-piece receiver is made of aircraft-grade aluminum for its strength and the lightweight, and it is drill and tap for the score mount. 22-inch long barrel has been machined from hammer-forged heat-treated billet of steels for its strength and accuracy, and it has 1 in 12 twist, and it came with no sides, so it's made for scope. It has multi-lock lottery bolt, that locks up straight into barrel extension for its strength and accuracy and this strength makes it possible to have it in magnum calibers as well. This rifle has the best magazine release that I've seen due to its unique hinge flow plate. It just pops right open and you can load it here and just pop it right in. And especially at the range when you're doing single shots, you don't have to take everything in and out. You could just open it, put one in there, click, and release the bolt from here, just like so. Now, as you've seen, this is empty. And if you pull the trigger, now one thing that I'm not happy about this rifle is the trigger. Now the trigger is actually pretty light. It feels more like around four pounds, but it's really mushy. It's got a lot of drag before it actually clicks. And I don't know if you heard it or not, but when the hammer hits the pin, it doesn't hit so hard. It's, it's a very light hitting. So I find out that I have a problem shooting 7.62 because it will make a small dent, but sometimes, well, about half the time, it won't actually fire. So I don't shoot 7.62 anymore. I only shoot 308. And also during the research, I found out that rifle that says 308, you're not supposed to shoot 7.62. That could actually damage the barrel and the vice versa. Now some rifles will actually say 308 or 7.62. Now those rifles, you could shoot both kind of ammo. But as for the rifle that specifically says made for 308, 
stick with 308. Do not shoot 7.62. You could actually damage your barrel and lose your accuracy. You could actually detach the magazine, so you could actually carry extra loaded magazines when you're going in an extensive hunt. And to pop it in, you just have to put it right there and just pop it right in. And it is ready to go. Just like most of the Browning rifles, they come with really beautiful dark walnut. And if you see the color, they are really, really nice. And they have a really nice pattern to it. And this was originally oil finish. And as I mentioned before, I put a five coats on it. Now this really had nice detail checkering, but they look a little dull because I put five coats on them. And you could see that wearing signs and here and there. So that was actually my reason why I put a coat on. And some people say you really should keep it original, but I didn't mind because I really wanted to keep the stock in a top shape. I didn't want any scratches or any indentation or like wearing sounds here. But after after I put the five coats on and that's been about what, eight, nine years? And I, I really don't see any more wearing signs. So I'm actually happy with the job I did. Came with nice gold plated trigger and there's your safety button. And it's also got that famous golden browning logo. Right here that you can see it better like this. There it is. And this also came with a sling swivel nut already in place. And the recoil pad is semi-soft and is fitted beautifully. This rifle has been discontinued. The newer version, they call it Bar MK3. It's exactly the same rifle except it comes with nickel plated receiver. I've seen it. I don't like it. I think this is much more uh, better looking than MK3 and the MSRP on the MK3 now is $1,240 and I seen Bud selling it for without the cash discount it was like $1,200 so you're not getting any discounts uh, this rifle being so popular uh, if you want to actually get a like popular caliber like 308 you might even have to pay a little bit more at the gun shop I had to wait a little while to get mine in 308 now I think I pay somewhere 900 and that skull mount from Browning, one piece skull mount with a ring from Browning, I think I pay somewhere 60 to nine, 60 to $70. And the scope, this is Lupo scope, VX1, power three by nine, it's 40 millimeter. And I, I think I pay a little bit less than 200 for that. So this whole rifle setup cost me around 1200. And now let's hit the range and see what this handsome guy can do on the papers. All right, we are back at the range. It's a little cloudy today, a little chilly, but not windy. So it's good. First shot with PAR, 100. Oh, that's a bullseye. It's touching. This makes it a little light, especially when you do a single shot. Alright, here goes the second shot. The bullseye. Okay, I made first two real good shots. I just have to make this one count. Let's see if I do my job. Yes, that's probably about half inch glue. Baby. Really nice. Take a look. Ooh. There's a Browning BAR at 100 yards, three shot glue. That's tight. That's really nice. Yes. Wow, there's no better medication on a gloomy day than shooting this handsome guy. That was fun. And my spirit is lifted up. Just look at it. That's crazy. We're talking about semi automatic 308. 
rifle that weights less than seven pounds. And this thing shoots better than the bolt action that I've seen at the range with other uh, shooters. So this, as you can see, is less than three quarter. Uh, it's between half inch and three quarter. There with uh, Browning BAR, I was shooting a Silver State Armory. It's a 308 Winchester 165 grain with a Nosler Occupant tip. And I have three different 308s and they are like different ammunitions. And this BAR loves this Nosler Occupant. Let's face it, what is there not to like about this rifle? It's very handsome looking, it's lightweight, it balances really well, and it handles great, and it shoots better than bolt action, and this is semi-automatic. You'll have fastest follow-up shots that you ever need. Now, only problem that I have with this rifle is actually taking it into the woods. I'm a little afraid I might actually damage its good looks. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I just might take this handsome guy into the woods on my next hunt. It might be my last hunt of the season. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy your life with what you got. But mostly, don't be grumpy. Lift up your spirits.